When blood siblings, divided by greed and thirst for power, opt for divergent paths, the query arises, would they achieve any success in enduring a challenging hostile environment? At the juncture when lions decide to become kings, they become capable of annihilating everything in their path, even if it entails displaying cruel behavior. In 2017, in the heart of the Sabi Sand Reserve, a formidable pair known as the Northern Avoka exhibited the true unfolding of feline strength, confronting two other renowned lions and overcoming a brother's betrayal. This showcased that when an alliance is shattered, those who remain can indeed rebuild. Today, you will delve into the challenging tale of the Northern Avoka and unravel the adventures that these courageous lions experienced in African lands. Give your thumbs up and subscribe to this channel, it's free and helps this work to continue. Click the like button and let's get into it. In 2017, the Northern Avoka became kings, but the story begins before that, in 2013, in the Timbavati Private Reserve, South Africa. The Timbavati Private Reserve is an area within the Kruger National Park. In 2013, some male lions were born in the Avoca Pride, and among them, three forged a bond of friendship from their early months of life. The years that followed were enough for these three brothers to come together, forming a still inexperienced coalition that would become feared in the face of the challenges the jungle would present. In 2016, when the three males left their pride, issues in their alliance surfaced, and the once seemingly unbreakable union suffered a rupture. The reserve workers gave the three lions names, Blondie, Hohawk, and Dark Mane, common names for lions that referenced their physical appearance. This is why we see other stories of great lions bearing the same names. Dark Mane aspired to be the leader of the coalition, while Mohawk and Blondie believed that the political alliance developed among them could entail an equal division of responsibilities and rights. Frequent conflicts erupted among the three after hunts. Dark Mane always wanted to feast on the best parts, and during their walks through the savanna, he wouldn't allow one of his brothers to lead until Blondie, on a particular hunt, was the first to bring down the prey. As Dark Mane started to feed, Blondie confronted him, and Mohawk joined Blondie against Dark Mane. Faced with this united opposition, Dark Mane had no choice but to abandon the group. Dark Mane was unwilling to share leadership, on the contrary, he wanted to be the sole ruler, even over his brothers. However, if he were to confront Blondie and Mohawk at that moment, he wouldn't stand a chance, as his fighting experience was limited. Opting for a solitary departure, Dark Mane ventured alone, heading north towards the Sabi Sand Reserve. Consequently, the two brothers came to be known as the Northern Avoka Coalition. Around the same time they left their original pride, other males, a few months younger, formed another coalition and headed south, dubbed the Southern Avoka. However, there are not many records about them. Dark Mane was spotted only a few times afterward, and with the lack of sightings of the lone Avoka, it strongly suggested that he might have lost his life to another lion, though nothing was confirmed. While the duo journeyed towards the Sabi Sand Reserve, the African lands held unpleasant surprises. After all, to claim the king's crown, one must prove their capability. The northern Avoka crossed paths with other coalitions of young lions, leading to brutal battles. Many times, the brothers had to retreat to survive, but with each confrontation, with every wound, they gained more combat experience. Somehow, these lions knew that every encounter and every injury added up, contributing to the eventual achievement of real success. In 2017, the year they arrived in Sabi Sand, the northern Avoka witnessed the first lionesses who would crown them as kings. However, nothing comes easy in life, especially in the African savanna. The lionesses were led by an experienced and strong dominant lion. To defeat him, strategy and persistence were crucial. For three nights, when the lion went out to patrol, the northern Avoka ambushed him, always from a different location. After injuring him, they would swiftly retreat, gradually weakening their adversary. Through well-timed attacks and careful preservation of their lives, the Avokas gradually wore down their opponent. Patience was the key ingredient. In three nights, Blondie and Mohawk defeated the lion, seized his throne, and claimed his lionesses. Pride surged in their hearts for the first time, and having a kingdom of their own with lionesses at their disposal quickly taught the northern Avoka the ropes. The battle for power proved worthwhile, and with every scar etched into their skin, the brothers continued to explore Sabi Sand, and their nightly patrols transformed into a hunt for power. Each time they spotted a new pride, Blondie and Mohawk would observe their potential opponents for days. 
if they saw a chance for conquest, they would launch an attack and annihilate their enemy. However, if they sensed that a fight would cost them their lives, they preferred to avoid war. A good king must know which battles are worth facing. After three years of ruling a significant portion of the area during one of their journeys through the savannah to assess potential opponents, Blondie and Mohawk unexpectedly came face to face with two important lions, the aging Birmingham brothers. In an unforeseen confrontation, it was the elderly Birminghams who fled severely wounded. Faced with the choice of either fleeing or succumbing to the claws of the northern Avoca, the old Birminghams opted for escape. Another habit the brothers had acquired was to eliminate any nomadic lion that was alone, even if it respected territorial boundaries. Mohawk and Blondie would track them down and hunt them like lionesses hunting news, relentless until the targeted lion lay lifeless. However, the hunger for power was going too far, and Blondie was about to exhibit a type of behavior not seen in the sands of Sabi Sand for some time. When lions overthrow another dominant lion, it's common for them to kill the offspring of the former king to generate their own progeny with the lionesses. If a lioness doesn't submit to the new leadership, she too will be killed. However, cannibalism is rare and considered exceptionally cruel even in the world of felines. In another conquest in 2019, Blondie did something unexpected. The duo had just taken down a nomadic lion, and in the frenzy of the adrenaline-fueled fight, Blondie approached a newly discovered pride, brutally injuring the leader in a manner more savage than usual. His brother seemed bewildered by the situation, unable to comprehend how Blondie could have attacked without assessing their opponent as they usually did. Nonetheless, Mohawk wouldn't let Blondie fight alone and joined him, emerging victorious in the brutal encounter. As a consequence, the killing of the cubs wasn't enough for Blondie. When one of the lionesses tried to protect the cubs, he began devouring the lifeless bodies, a crucial demonstration to ensure no lioness dared to turn against the Avoka as they would show no mercy. Despite all the violence on the battlefield, the two remaining northern Avoka shared the crown amicably. They were united in every possible way, working as a team in battles and knowing how to celebrate each triumph. They divided their lionesses and also the best part of the hunt. The last update I found about the northern Avoca brothers, Blondie and Mohawk, was in 2021 when they were spotted in a confrontation with another lion who fled upon realizing he would lose the fight. On that same day, one of the prides conquered by the brothers had seven cubs born just over a month ago carrying the incredible genetics of the Avoca. Will they become as powerful and merciless kings as their predecessors? If you have more information about them, please leave it in the comments. Don't forget to click on the like button, it's free and greatly supports our work. When you click on the like button, our video is distributed to more people helping us. Subscribe and activate notifications so you don't miss anything. Thank you for watching.